financial analyst Eze Onyekpere has faulted most of the key assumptions used in preparing the 2020 budget proposal. He, however, appraised government's projected revenue generation from the proposed value-added tax increase. A business correspondent, Chinemerum Joseph, who spoke to Mr. Onyekpere during an exclusive interview in Abuja, started by getting his opinion on the parameters used in preparing the budget proposal. Last year, we put our return revenue, our realizable revenue, we put it at about 7.1 or 7.2 trillion. At the end of the day, we got only about 3.89 trillion, not even up to 4 trillion. And now we are now moving it further to say we are going to realize 8.1 or 8.2 trillion. Where is that coming from? So that's why I'm feeling that there's a feeling that there's no, these parameters we are not based, the projections were not based on empirical evidence. Where do we also place um, government's plan to return to the January to December cycle amidst um, our level of implementation of even the May to June that we have been running? What we have been doing is staccato. Staccato in the sense that the fiscal financial year axis January to December. January 1 to 31st December is a financial year. We are found in section 318 of the constitution. But when they make the budget, enact the budget around June, they say it will run for 12 consecutive months from the date of ascent. Once you have a new appropriation and those projects you've not implemented, you carry them over into the new budget so we can, we can run. So it is a good development that the budget is submitted pretty a bit early. It's also a good development that the National Assembly has assured they will clean it out and get back to the president before we go on Christmas and New Year vacation. But I don't know how possible that will be. Lastly, the issue of borrowing has um, been a very major issue. And then in the 2020 budget estimate where the government is expecting about, uh, two point, about 2.2 trillion naira uh, for debt servicing, where would you be expecting government to raise such an amount from? For the first time, the proposal for debt repayment is higher than capital expenditure. So the implication is that we are going to have very, very little capex because all these resources are going to be channeled towards paying salaries, the new minimum wage, overhead.